Today we're going to take a look at a solar panel comparison and we're going to be looking at the energy conversion from light energy to electrical energy. Our learning target is to determine how the size and quality of the solar panel determines the energy output of the solar panel. So the first thing we want to do is take a look at the solar panel that we have here. This is off an old security light. And so with this solar panel, we are currently generating under just the classroom lights 2.56 volts of electricity. And if you notice, we have a little blue LED light hooked up here. And so we're generating enough electricity with just the classroom lights to also run that little LED light. The second thing we want to do is say, okay, well, what if we change the conditions and add more light? What happens to our voltage? So we're going to turn on our light. And if you notice now, we still have the blue LED light. It seems as though it's shining a little bit brighter. But now we're generating 2.96 volts of electricity with our light on. And one of the comparisons we want to do is we want to compare the size of the panels. And so to do that, we're going to take a quick measurement here. And we're just going to measure the inside of the frame to inside the frame. And this will measure out to be approximately 19.5 centimeters by 19.5 centimeters. So then we can do a quick calculation to figure out our surface area. Now our second solar array setup, we have four smaller panels and we're trying to check to see if there's a difference in having four smaller panels or a benefit of having one larger, higher quality panel. If you notice with these four smaller panels, our little LED light is not lit right now. We're only generating approximately 1.04 volts of electricity with our classroom lights, the same classroom light settings we had before for the large panel. And so what we're gonna do now is turn on the light and see what happens if the LED light will light and see if we can generate more electricity. So we've turned on our light and now you'll notice we have our LED light, it is lit up. So it appears as though you have to have about two volts of electricity to get the little LED light to light up. And we're now generating 2.07 volts of electricity with the light on as well as the classroom lights. Now for this, we're also gonna to try to calculate the um, surface area. Now this won't be 100% accurate, but it will be close enough for us. And so we're going to measure it again in centimeters. So we have approximately 12 centimeters by 6 centimeters. And so we're going to take that number and figure it out and then multiply it by 4, by four to figure out our total surface area. And what we want to do ultimately is we want to determine how the size of the solar panel determines the energy output level. So the question we're trying to answer here is, does the size and quality of the solar panel determine the energy output of the solar panel? What else may determine the solar panel energy output? And what could the different lighting conditions represent?